So check this out, y'all. So I'm watching this Bootsy Badass Breakfast Club interview, and I had to give my intake on this. I watched it and analyzed it, and I came to a lot of conclusions. See, one thing that I noticed about the Breakfast Club is that it has done an extreme makeover versus how it started. It seems to me that they're pandering to the woke, feminist, liberal, LBGT crowd. And it seems like that's been the change of shift since the the Trump Trump administration. But see, I noticed that when they brought Bootsy on, it's been more so uh, of sickness on his character. Like, they literally spent an entire hour trying to force Bootsy to accept their beliefs and accept their way of lifestyle that he doesn't really agree with. Now, people can say what they want about Bootsy. I don't agree with everything he does. But I respect a man that doesn't allow the industry or anybody for that matter or very powerful figures such as Charlemagne to bully him. He stood his ground. And Charlemagne's name holds a lot of weight in this industry. So, therefore, with Bootsy being independent, he can speak. He can speak freely. He ain't got to stutter. He ain't got to sit there and worry, oh, did I say this, that, and the third because his money isn't tied up to these corporations like a lot of these rappers. And a lot of these rappers, they they agree with what Boosie said. Boosie, he let the, almost let the bag out the hat right there. When he said, I had a lot of OG rappers. They hit me up and they was like, yeah, I agree with everything you're saying. But none of these niggas, just like I said in the video about the baby, they're not going to stand with it. Because they're scared. They're, not gonna, they're, they're scared they're going to lose their endorsements. They're scared they're going to lose... Uh, they, they're scared they're going to lose their endorsement. They're scared they're going to lose their support system. They're scared of their chances of a bigger bag being being <laughs> disappearing. It's like these dudes are scared to speak up. And see, with Charlemagne, what he's doing, basically with all this controversy going around him, he's basically doing a makeover job of his image. So he figured, hey, let me go ahead and pander to the liberals. Let me pander to the gay crowd. Let me pander to these people so that way they won't forget that I was acting like a sexual deviant. They won't forget that I was acting like a sh straight up, not only a narcissist, or, or, but also somebody that could very far well into the Me Too movement due to the, due to the um a lot of the content that the Breakfast Club was 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 put now in the early two in the, in the early two thousand tens. Not to mention this movie that they got they coming out about his alleged rape case. So Charlemagne is doing a lot of pandering, and he also doing that because he figured he does that is a bigger bag waiting for him. And I noticed this too. I noticed that the interview was very uncomfortable. It was very uncomfortable in a lot of ways because. Boosie's not giving these people the answers that they want. And they seen that he wasn't blowing the bus. So what do they do? They try to make him uncomfortable. They brought a drag queen up there. And I don't understand what was the reasoning behind that. They, they did that to make it like, oh, this is the test to see if he's really homophobic or not. Because he said that he likes gay people. He just against the lifestyle and the agenda being pushed. You see this sick shit being pushed. You see it pushed on on the babies when you see gonzo from the muffet babies coming out the closet you see all these cartoons getting pushed when you got all these characters coming out as binary rugrats was coming out had betty coming out i mean you see the agenda secretly being pushed and without the way i would have combat that and then when it when charlemagne loved and many people love to use this argument they love to use well we always talk about drugs. We always talk about sex. We always talk about violence. Why no? Why that's a, why that's okay? And why homosexuality is it? I'm gonna give y'all the difference. Number one, that drug dealer, that prostitute, that hustler, that game banger, he could turn his life around and reproduce. You've seen it with Malcolm X. Malcolm X turned his life around. He became a 
one of the most int influential, po positive black men ever. Reproduction is the key thing because two gay men can't reproduce. Two gay women can't reproduce. Therefore, you're cutting the supply of birth of a blue black nation. So, if he would have came with that, that would have shut Charlemagne and them up. And not to mention, there's been rappers that's been speaking on um, the violence and the sex, drugs, and murder all the time. But the people want to hear it. That's the thing. And a lot of these same people that claim they don't want to hear it no more, they the ones shaking they tail feather to it at the club. They buying it. Just like the post that I posted the other day where I had this, we had this chick over here on Twitter. She was talking about, where's the real female rappers at? We tired of reading these whole rappers. And somebody suggested Rhapsody. Oh, we, I ain't want to listen to her conscious rap. That's boring. That's the, that's the problem. That's the problem. People love indecency. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel comfortable. And it makes them uncomfortable when somebody call it out. Now, you can say what you want about Boozy, but none of these niggas is stepping up. Sometimes it takes the wrong messenger to bring the right message. None of these other niggas is stepping up. They scared. They compromise for the bad. So, that's my take on this interview here. They tried to make him uncomfortable, but Boosie held his own. And, that's his, and not to mention, he's doing his own shows. He's doing his own bashes. He put his own bash together without no middleman. These other rappers got to ask they middleman. So this should be a lesson learned for all these MCs and all these artists to take your destiny in your own hand and go independent and build that fan base. And you could speak your mind like Boots. You ain't got to be like Nick Cannon and apologize or go on an apology tour or get scolded by the powers that be. You could be free. So... That's my take on that. Let me know what you guys think. This is King Eric signing out. Holla.